A dignitary by all means, the Nigerian High Commissioner Dr. Chijioke Wilcox Wigwe, but one who is allegedly responsible for this. According to his wife of over 20 years, Tess Iye Wigwe, the diplomat battered her on May the 11th following a disagreement and was later admitted in hospital. Violence she has silently persevered, five children and five grandchildren later, and it's getting worse. Human rights groups now coming out to condemn suffering undergone by many women, but only in silence. Uh, within the, the corners of the family, um, there is a lot of silence uh, around uh, domestic violence. And most of the time is a matter that uh, the family will tend to sort it out within their family. And even as the Kenya Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, joins the calls on the Kenyan government to immediately withdraw all diplomatic status and immunity, according to the diplomat, immunity, it seems, will remain a tall barrier between the diplomat and the long arm of the law. There's a convention, Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Immunities, which protects him in, in terms of his office and gives him immunity from any kind of criminal process or civil process in the country into which he's sent. As much as um, uh, this is a diplomat who has, uh, who has uh, immunity to some extent, there are recourse to it even as a diplomat. The story of Tess is indicative of a form of violence that affects women from all walks of life and from all corners of the world. Domestic violence. Judy Kosge for Power Breakfast.